Hollywood scene. Who flash the money on her body and her red lips? Who put my baby on the shutter for a trip? Say goodbye to your Brooklyn girl. You know, when we're, at that time, everyone thought maybe Little Lullaby would be kind of the. If people listen to Little Lullaby, like I know that's Roby's favorite song <laughs> of all time. Yeah, the Little Lullaby I wrote for my first daughter. But uh, you know, Coconut Girl was just something that that became part of the album. But yeah, man, when it exploded, and it's so interesting how how it has become the you know like a theme song for, in so many instances. Little Secret too, I read. Remade Coconut Girl to come out like really soon, a remake, yeah, with all young guys. Bye bye bye, poor lane. Oh, I I hope I never see your face. Your eyes are too deceiving for me. I said bye bye. There's a uh, uh, several. Yeah. One definitely Gabby Pahinui. I was so fortunate mm -hmm. to to uh, have some moments with him, and you know he Gabby. The interesting thing about Gabby is, you know, he came even more famous as he got older. Yeah, so that is that's like a kind of cool thing, you know, how you can sustain yourself for mm -hmm. so many years. Yeah, and I think that he wasn't really trying to be famous. <laughs> that's why he's. His stretches and I kind of design my life like that too. I just keep uh, documenting and and moving with with the way the music goes and however it takes me. And so it's been a long journey for me too. Uh, my first influence for sure are the Boys in the Hood. Yeah, when I grew up in Pooling, yeah, that was a that was like the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they call it gangs today. <laughs> <laughs> but back in the day, that was our family. Yeah, because we all came from. Uh, you know, single parent type families, and and we didn't have nobody constantly guiding us, so we guided ourselves. Yeah, and and I was always the the guy with the guitar. Pretty soon, I got everybody else to grab a guitar, and we had like our own little uh, Willie and the Poor Boys oh. street corner band, right? And then and then I met Kaipo, who's my Hanai brother. Yeah, uh, and Kaipo was my major influence. He. He told me, hey, you know, you got to know how to get over the hump and play for people. Yeah, he already knew that I was talented, I guess, and, and I could do what I do, but you got to play for people. And he is a great inspiration, him and my brother Tony. Mm -hmm. yeah, and Tony was my inspiration too because here's this, here's this kid like nine years old and he's like already playing out there in the nightclubs and, and everything. You know, I just was thinking like, wow. He's oddly unique, <laughs> you know. Gosh, he's like a little kid, and he's like a, a Hawaiian Michael Jackson or something. Yeah, so definitely the two musically, uh, Kaipo Daniels and and uh, my brother Tony. <laughs>